What is up you guys? So we're picking up a truck today for the channel. Uh, it is a single cab. That's what I can tell you guys right now. Single cab two wheel drive. It doesn't run or drive yet. Uh, so it is a project. We're gonna bring it over. Um, probably shoot some cinematics while it's on the tow truck. We're gonna bring out the tow truck. It's not that far from where I'm at. Um, it was a good price. We'll go all over that later. Um, but yeah, just keeping you guys updated. We did sell the project truck that we had for the channel. Um, it went for the good price. So right now, this one I'm planning on keeping. This is the one that I'm planning on keeping for now. Um, we're gonna start working on it, get it running. You know, all the little small things just to the point where we could drive the truck. And from there, you know, maybe we go either, you know, wheels, paint, all that stuff. But yeah. Once we get there, I'll show you guys a record around the truck and we'll go from there. Comment down below. What do you guys think? You know, um, what do you guys want to get done to that truck? What do you guys want to get? Why, what do you guys want to see done on that truck? You know, obviously, I'm going to be the one picking and choosing what goes on it. But uh, yeah, you guys let me know. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I am by myself today. I got nobody riding with me, so I'm going to go by myself. We'll pick it up. Um, everybody is working. So, yeah, you guys, go pick that up. All right, you guys, so uh, I'm going to show you guys the new truck. Uh, the guy wouldn't get the paperwork. We're going to cash him out right now. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I got big plans for it. It's going to change a lot from what it looks right now. Um, it's a, it is a V6, but we're going to swap it. We're going to put a V8 in it. You guys already know. So you guys have it, you guys. Yes, another OBS step side. It is a V6. It's got the Chalino Sanchez side skirts right there. It's got some uh, another baby billets, but another aluminum wheels. The old school aluminum wheels pretty clean body wise it's pretty clean only has one dent right there but here's the new project truck for the channel comment down below what you guys think we're gonna wait on tow truck come pick it up what is up you guys so uh i had something in my face so um got a new truck got a new truck for the channel um yeah you guys kind of saw right there Nope, it's not that one. Not that one, those been here. Uh, I got some ideas in my head already. Uh, I think it doesn't start right now. Just gotta do something with a steering column, you know. It is a 98. And so, you know, it's got this whole security system shit, whatever. They changed out the steering column, they didn't program it right. So it's having issues. Uh, I've been trying to work on it. A little bit off camera just to kind of get an idea what it was and yeah no luck so what I'm gonna end up doing I'm just gonna call a, a locksmith that I know hopefully he can come he could probably just get it running because it is just a, a security issue so if he could come and get it running cherry if not we're gonna keep going at it it is a little project you know it doesn't need much we might go overboard but I'm actually just thinking of doing a budget build something you could build budget maybe you're fresh off high school or you're during going through high school or whatever you know you get yourself a little pickup you get yourself a little car or whatever you know on the budget and you just work on it little by little until it takes you from point a to point b everything is diy paint suspension any modifications we do to it is going to be in-house we're going to do everything here uh but yeah enough talking i'm going to show you guys the truck and uh, let me know in the comments down below what do you guys want to get see get done to it and uh, how would you picture this truck you know either lower lifted stock height with what type of wheels should we leave things on that are on it right now take them off so yeah I do I'm gonna show you guys right now so yeah guys this is it right here 98 Chevy Silverado with the with the flares and the body kit, the little skirts. 
the nice nice little aluminum wheels uh, the guy tried to clean them and he fucked them up instead so we're gonna polish those we'll do a video of that it's more cotton for you guys anyway Got the 95 and up grill it is a v6 it's got some mickey mouses here and there so what we're gonna end up getting it fixed make it right as i already know it's got three steering columns that it came with plus the one that's on right now there's a cherry truck it's nice got it for a fair price real cheap we're gonna be able to put some money into it and not go you know something that somebody could buy while they're in high school working a part-time job or as your first truck your first build this is what this video and this this series of, of the truck is going to be about you know being able to not dump a lot of money into it make it reliable for, from point a to point b making it look clean so you can pull up to a meet in your in your daily you could take it everywhere you need to go plus it's something that you're at the end later on once you got a little bit more money you buy yourself a second car you could park it and actually invest more money into it but uh yeah is yeah, it you guys a little v6 we'll probably we'll see i'm gonna leave that power plant for now um i want to focus on looks and uh it is pretty dirty but it's got the 454 seats red interior which i really like so i was like huh. never had one with a red interior so this is it right here you guys obviously it's a round round interior but they put the 454 seats with a center console in there. Chile grasita. Well, yeah. That's, that's what we got to work with now. I did end up selling the SVT clone. That's why I went and picked up this. I feel we might end up putting a less. But worst comes to worst, it's going to stay a V6. Or a stock 350. I'm not sure yet. Cause like I said, I want to focus on looks and reliability. I want something that will take it from point A to point B. We drive it everywhere, but it's nice looking and functional for what it is, you know? Unlike these trucks right here, they're just to mob and they get a little bit more expensive as you go. This one's in the works right now. We're gonna do videos on that one too. That's my wife's truck. We got the motor inside ready to go. So like I said, we're gonna have a spare motor. We might put it on this one, make it a 350. Well, we're not sure yet comment down below what do you guys think ls swap 350 or keep it stock for now and worry about the things but like i said it's always gonna be on a budget you know motor is either gonna be free from that one that we're gonna take off or it's gonna be a pick and pull motor you know we do all the work all the harness everything here to keep the cost low and we'll at the end once it's all said and done we'll do a video you know how much everything costs we'll keep in mind the truck the plates the getting it running the paint suspension anything that we spend on it you know we'll but we'll make it look cool um right now i'm thinking about the color yet i'm not sure but it does have to match with a red interior so there you guys have it it's just a little update probably record not sure I'm, I'm working by myself right now so um if the locksmith comes through then uh i'll record him working on it and, and throw it in this video if not then it's just going to be an introduction to the new project trick that we're going to have in the channel so yeah stay tuned you guys for this obs build all right you guys so locksmith is coming tomorrow uh today i'm gonna give you guys a video uh, I got my boy right here. Let me introduce to you guys. This is a boy Angel. Angel's drip. He's the one that gets down on my truck right now. He gets down, cleaning them, detailing them. All right, let me let me show you guys the setup. This guy's on water, electricity, vacuum, power washer, everything. All right, here, hit him up, you guys. Right there. Make your appointment. Yeah. So yeah, you guys, the truck is a mess. It's pretty dirty. I'm gonna have the locksmith guy come tomorrow, but I don't want to be in there. I don't want somebody being in there and catch something. So 
We got my boy over here. He's going to get down. He's going to clean it, clean it out, make it look cool, wash from the outside, give you guys some content to watch, and uh, see if he can fix those wheels. Let's see. We'll, we'll see right now. I don't know what you guys think. Should we keep the the fender flares and the the side skirts and make it a 90 style truck, or what I had in my head was lift it up, uh, offset wheels and make it look stance. What do you guys think? Or just do the same thing as the two one, lower it and make it fast. I really want a little toy hauler. That's why I wanted to lift this one. God damn! Look at the difference already, you guys. Jeez. What a nice wash dust of your wheels. Look at your truck, wheels, everything. Look at them, look at them get down. Look at this, you guys. 